السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I am here to do a short talk about Nah Nahjul Balagha saying. So Nahjul Balagha is a collection of sermons, letters and sayings left as a memorial from Imam Ali alayhi salam. Sayyid Wadi compl- compiled Nahjul Balagha over a thousand years ago. The sermons included in Nahjul Balagha were expressed and written by Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam as a teacher, ruler, and Islamologist. This is an excerpt from Sermon 175. No one will sit beside this Qur'an, but that when he rises, he will achieve one addition or one diminution, addition in his guidance or or elimination in his spiritual blindness. The Qur'an is an advisor who never deceives, a leader who never misleads, a narrator who never speaks a lie. It is a cure from the biggest diseases and seek assistance from it in your distresses. Few questions we should all ponder about in the holy month of Ramadan. Have you become more closer to Allah in the month of Ramadan? You become more closer by doing all the good deeds and reciting Quran since Shaitan is locked up in locked up in this holy month. What can you do to continue to remember Allah every day? You could recite Quran, pray namaz, recite duas and do good deeds and help others and give to the needy. Do you feel your connection to the Holy Qur'an has increased in the holy month of Ramadan? If you recite every day, you will be become more connected to the Holy Qur'an. The Holy Qur'an was revealed on Laylatul Qadr to the Holy Prophet, which is in this holy month. What are some ways that help you connect more with the Holy Qur'an? It help, um, we connect it with by learning and understanding the Quran, and we benefit from it, and it helps us. That helps us connect. How can you make the Holy Quran a bigger part of your own life? By reciting every day, learning and understanding it, and implementing it in your life. How can we implement things from the Holy Quran in our daily lives? By following it teaching others about it, sharing your knowledge. In this holy month, the days are the best of days, nights are the best of nights. So we we must take this opportunity to do um, good in this month. Before I finish, I would like to share a story with you all. Once there was a grandfather who told his grandson to take a basket and fill it with water from the river. So the boy went to the river and filled the basket up with water and came back to the house. By the time he had reached the house, the water had gone, so the grandfather sent him back. This happened several times until the boy gave up. He was angry and said there was no point in doing this since there were holes in the basket. So the grandfather grandfather said to the grandson, it was not useless. The grandfather, ga- gr- the grandfather gave the grandson a dirty basket before, and now it had been cleaned. It might have not made a difference to the grandson, but it made a difference to the basket. In, this, in the same way, when we recite Quran, it purifies our souls, keeps us away from sins, and connects us to Allah. We should try and reflect on the on the verses of Quran to benefit more. Let's make this intention for the rest of the days of Ramadan to do this. Thank you for listening to my talk. I hope you learned something from it. Salawat.